Did you know that nearly 50% of singles in their 30s report feeling more confident in dating than they did in their 20s? Crazy, right? Let's dive into how dating changes as we age. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're exploring the fascinating world of dating in your 20s versus your 30s. It's wild how our approach to relationships evolves as we get older, so let's break down the differences and see what really changes when we hit that big 3-0. All right, so let's talk about some of the misconceptions and challenges that can pop up when you're dating in your 20s versus your 30s. In your 20s, dating often feels like a roller coaster ride. You're exploring, figuring out what you want, and sometimes just going with the flow. But that can lead to a lot of confusion and heartache. You might find yourself in a situation ship that just leaves you feeling lost. On the flip side, when you hit your 30s, things can look a lot different. There's this pressure to settle down, and suddenly everyone expects you to have it all figured out. This can lead to a different set of challenges, like feeling like you're racing against the clock or dealing with the expectations of family and friends. It's a real tug of war, where you might feel the need to find the one while also wanting to keep your independence. So yeah, both decades have their unique hurdles, and knowing that is half the battle. Now, let's dig into the key differences in dating priorities, relationship goals, and maturity levels between these two age groups. In your 20s, dating is often about the thrill of meeting new people and having fun. You might be more open to casual flings and experimenting with different types of partners. It's all about discovering yourself and figuring out what you really want in a relationship. However, as you transition into your 30s, that landscape shifts dramatically. You start to prioritize stability and compatibility over sheer excitement. Relationships become more serious, and you're likely looking for long-term partners who share your values and life goals. Maturity plays a huge role here. You're more equipped to communicate your needs and set healthy boundaries. Plus, you've probably learned some valuable lessons from past relationships that shape how you approach dating now. And let's not forget about the impact of life experiences. By your 30s, you've usually got a clearer sense of your identity, which can make dating feel less daunting. You know what works for you and what doesn't, which can lead to more satisfying connections. So, what's the big realization when it comes to dating in your 30s versus your 20s? It's all about perspective. In your 20s, you might see dating as a game, but in your 30s, it transforms into a journey, a quest for meaningful connections. You start to realize that it's not just about finding someone to date, but rather about building a life with someone who complements you. This shift in mindset can be liberating. You're no longer swayed by societal pressures or the fear of being single. Instead, you develop a sense of self-worth that allows you to choose partners who truly align with your life vision. To wrap it all up, dating in your 20s and 30s can feel like two entirely different worlds. In your 20s, it's often about exploration and fun, while your 30s bring a deeper understanding of what you want in a partner and a relationship. Remember, it's totally normal for these priorities to shift as you grow older. Embrace the changes and enjoy the journey. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I'd love to hear about your own dating experiences in the comments below. How have your dating priorities changed from your 20s to your 30s? Don't forget to check out my other videos for more dating tips and advice. Catch you in the next one.